they're off 29. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, Mastering uh, the Opening Call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. You'll see it on the left-hand side, the second one down. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is $199 savings at 22%. You can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593.33. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So the bottom line is that you can take any one of them you want, check it out. As soon as you get, Matt, the opening call, what you're going to see is that Basil has about 12 or 13 great archives there. Every Saturday, he... It's almost like he does a webinar on Saturday. So go check it out, folks. Great newsletter. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you feeling? I, I, you know, I feel good, man. I just look weird. <laughs> yeah, sometimes these things happen and we just have to cope with it, but you're doing great. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's a lot easier talking today than yesterday. I can tell you that. I, I, yeah, but it was important that... that exactly. That, I wasn't going to not do the program. About, right. was uh, terrific. Really. Right, right. I miss him a lot. Yeah. So, you know, I, I thought I'd just do this just to kind of give an overview of where I am with subscribers to my opening call uh, using the techniques and the Chapman Wave methodology. Okay. So I'll just do a quick review. So um, using uh, one of our particular indic indicators, these technical tools, I always talk about, it doesn't mean anything. It used to mean a lot when I talked about my Sears and Roebuck toolbox. Nobody even knows what Sears and Roebuck is anymore. But anyway, I have as many, I have just a plethora of tools that, Sometimes you need them and sometimes you don't. Sometimes I just put the moving average on the chart and just wait for it to come and hit that particular level and then it becomes important. So let me just go through this. On the left is the Dow chart. In the middle is the weekly Dow chart. On the right is the monthly. So on the left, you can see it's got these notations. It's got this extension. It's got this blue line and a parallel blue line that's called the Chapman Wave a one-to-one -one parallel extension. It's it's basically like your A to B equals C to D. That's the, that's the use here. But it, it comes about when I've got a pattern that I call the falling X, where I've got lower lows and much lower, sorry, lower highs and much lower lows. And then all of a sudden, it forms a support level. It looks like this forms a support level. And out of the blue, what looked like a terrible chart becomes a very positive one because you've got this cup formation. And I'm always, and then once it breaks this resistance line, you can go one to one to the upside, which is what you saw over here. Yes. But what's important also is I'm looking at basically three patterns, straight up, straight down, cup formation, arch formation. The cup could be a V and the arch could be an inverted V, but it's basically going from one point down and then back to that point. Um, so if it comes down sharply, and then with the, with the first or second peak called alphabetically peak A or B, the second one, and takes out that left side low, it can go quite a bit low. You can just see the little bit of a chart you're looking at here. You went down sharply. There's that straight line. Then it fails at a peak A and B, and then it turned down and took out that left side low. Then it did it again at a peak A. So that's important. So this technique is called the dreaded H because if it's red, because if it takes out that left side low, it can go a lot lower. And on the right, you've got the inversion, the, the reverse, the green, very positive reverse Y pattern. If it takes out the left side high, you can see right there, that's a little Y pattern there, the little cup formation took out that left side high, went much further. Then there was another one, almost like a V, went up to that peak E top at 34,257 on the 1st of uh, May. Uh, yeah, 1st of May. Now, what's, did I put, yeah, that, oh, this is the last one. So that's still from way back. So using these techniques, very simple techniques, they look complex because I like to keep them on the chart so that subscribers, when I'm in the den during my show, 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock Eastern time, people can see these things. So there's another technique that I use, this, this, this falling axe pattern, the lower low, lower highs and much lower lows. And you get, I make a parallel, a little mini channel at the outer end. And look how it becomes a repellent zone. Every time that this is the Dow Daily, every time it got there, it made this H pattern and then it started to fail. So I use a particular technique using on balance volume. So we've got the exact high on the 1st of August at 35,679 to go short. We still short the Dow because we keep making these arch formations. So 
the cell, the, it's fascinating because the deity is in a cell mode. The weekly yet, hasn't yet generated the cell signal. It's still in the buy mode, and the monthly chart, the same thing. So I, I thought I'd just go through some of the patterns. I'll go through them in more detail during my show, say, tomorrow morning at 10. But there are a couple of other things that I do as well. So you had been speaking about the dollar. So the dollar, um, I use another technique. I call this the, the technical tool of last resort. And that's where I look at the nine period moving average over the 14. And one of the things that I've been looking at, and one of the reasons why I used one particular tool to get the Dow top, but it was really nine sessions later when the nine period finally crossed negative and said, uh oh, now you've got a problem. So the dollar's exact, I'll be still along the dollar uh, for subscribers to my opening call. The dollar's had a really good rally, but you can see this green nine period moving average is still way over the 14 period moving average. So I always have to put it in time frames. If you look at the weekly chart, it feels like a big deal, but all that the dollar has done really is just gone from the lower boundary of the rectangle, went under it, made this H to a lowercase m pattern, and now it's reversing and it's making the cup formation. So the big thing for me is the dollar on a weekly basis, it can do it intraday, it'll be fabulous, but on a weekly basis, if there can be a close above this high right here, the week of the 10th of March, with a high, uh, this is the dollar index, a high of 105 uh, 88. If there is a close above that, that will say that is very good action. Right now, it's really, I treat it more as a counter trend rally, but it, it, it has significance because it coincides with many other things. So I just thought I'd show this pattern. And then I'd spoken to you last week. Um, there's a particular stock that we have, which is in the uranium area, EUC. Uh, this is the, the name is called Uranium Energy Core. The symbol is UEC. So I had drawn in this pattern for subscribers. First, I drew in this cup formation, the one I was talking about before. And within that, I have what I call symmetry, where the bars on the left side equal the number of bars on the right. And you can see I drawn this in. This particular uh, pattern goes all the way to right there. It goes to the 9th of August. And on the 10th of August, the number of bars on the left from the 388 high it was way back, whoops, way back here um, in, in February, finally came through and it went all the way to that level. And the whole thing about this nine period moving average, look, at it, it's still green, it's still green, it's still green, even as we speak, it's green. So we're in at about um, $3 and uh, we started along at about $3.48. And and here it is at uh, 486. We took a, nice. another, we're taking little bits off. We took about a 42% gain, but we still have this core because the, another technique that I use is a Chapman wave cup and ladle pattern. And it says that if after the left side lift, but there's a sharp pullback, you break through that left side in leg C, you should still go to D. And look, here's this bar and symmetry, and we've broken out. So this so far is a nice pattern that we're looking at. Folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go to newsletters. You go to the, as soon as you hit it, you'll see the opening call on the left-hand side. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to show tomorrow morning. Thank you, Tom. You too. Okay, stay right there, folks. Come right back.